everybody. Welcome back to the Bison Workshop. I'm Bob. And today I'm going to try something on the lathe. Uh, I'm not going to be using the lathe, but I'm going to be making something for the lathe. And I've always wanted to make one. And I've had this piece of half inch angle ever since I tried to do that milling attachment for the Atlas lathe. So I was sitting there looking at my metal and noticed that I can make something like that with a set screw on top of it. So, and the hole drilled in the end here so that that will go in it and then this will set screw it in there. But first what we got to do is cut this down to the width of the blade you would put in there so you know it's right. So basically what I'm going to do is put that right there and we're going to scribe a line across there get the right side I just need enough so I can put it in the bandsaw to get it right Now you got a light scribed line. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take this to the bandsaw and we're going to bandsaw this and hope that we get it straight. I'm pretty sure my bandsaw is pretty square. So I'm going to check it first. And we're going to try to get that down to the same width as this. And then we'll work on the outside here and make it look nice and pretty. And square things off and round here and there or whatever you'll see so until then be right back all right so now what we've got here is our piece that we cut off and this is what she looks like right now all messed up and nasty looking so now what we're going to do is we're going to take it over to the um, vise and work on it with the grinder for a little bit. So now we got it over here to the vise and you notice that it didn't cut it straight. So now we got to straighten it. Uh, which that's not going to be all that big a deal because uh, this is the side that's going to go in the, uh, the piece. So as you can see, it will just fit right in there just like that, nice and neat, clamp these down. This side here, it doesn't really matter if it's straight or not anyway, but we're going to try to straighten it up a little bit and just kind of chamfer everything, clean this side up, make it look nice and neat. And then we're going to round this off right here, so uh, wherever it needs to be rounded off. So as you can picture that with this and then a thumbnail through there so now we need to decide where we need to cut that so we might be able to cut all that just about off anyway yeah I believe we can so we're going to take that to the bandsaw and we're going to cut that off straight right now that we've got that done Now that we've got this bracket made, now it's time to drill a hole into this. And I probably should have thought this through a little bit more and made cut this piece so that it was wider. So that I might not have enough room for the set screw and the dial indicator. If I do, it's going to be very close. So I may have to scrap this one and, and do another one. I never thought that through real, real good. If I use this, 
then through here. That would only leave me, and that hole would have to be awfully close to the bottom. That would leave me probably about two threads. I'd like for that thing to hit a little bit closer than that. Um, then again, I could use a smaller set screw uh, Allen head because I'm never going to be taking this off of this anyway because that's all it's ever going to be used for. So why don't we just do that? I could use this since it's a finer thread. And just shorten it. Sure wish I'd have made that a little wider on that side. I may make me a new one. Because in order to do that, I would have to have that thing awfully close to the edge. Let's try out with this one here. Yeah, it only gives me like two threads on that one. And if I shorten this one, I'll get about four threads. But that means I'd have to cut that hole awfully close. To the edge, unless unless I put my set screw in the end, now that would work. But is that going to be in the way of anything? Yeah, I could do it that way, and this doesn't protrude past this, so. Yeah, I think that would work great right there. So we're going to mark that. Right there. I can hold still. Make sure that's correct. Yeah. Alright, so we're going to mark that right there. <coughs> now we're going to find out what size the shaft is and find the appropriate drill bit, drill bit. And I don't want that to be uh, too tight. So we'll find us a drill bit here that is the same size. All right, that one looks pretty close. So let's check the next one and see what it does. It goes and changes too much. I think we're going to use this one. So that one's going to be a little too tight. So now we're going to take this and we're going to drill that hole in the side here. And then we're going to drill the hole in the top. Alright, now that we've got our piece formed... I got my hole drilled for this to slide in and out. And then we got threaded. Just did it all in the drill press. Drilled this hole first. And then I drilled this one and put a thumb screw in it. So now we just put that in there just like that, wherever you want it. You can put it square to the box back of it and there you have it now let's go put it in the lathe and see how it works actually right here is what we're going to be doing so I'll tighten that down Tighten that one down. Tighten that one down. And then we'll take it over to the lathe. Alright, we have uh, chucked this up in the three-jaw chuck. And now we can put this down on there. Lock her down. 
Bring her in. Nope, don't want to do that. Bring her in. Look at this thing's got backlash in it. A lot of it. Got about three, three thou backlash in it. But anyway, there we go. And now you see it. And all it is, piece of L bracket I've cut out of this piece right here. Cut it a uh, half inch thick. Cleaned it up. Blued it. And, um, I'm a tightener. Allen wrench. That's what I meant. And I will make these to sell if anybody wants to buy one. Uh, all you'd be buying would be the bracket. This part right here. Basically, it just uh, use one of your tools, put that in, tighten her down. As you can see, it's nice and blued and oiled. And then we tighten her down. Tighten her down. And you only have to do this once, unless you change your tool post all the time, or change your blade, or whatever. And there you have it. Um, anybody that wants me to make one of these for them, let me know. Um, just give me a comment or email me. The uh, email address is right here. Um, this will help me to be able to um, get more of this because I got enough here to do probably uh, two more. Um, yeah, I can make two more out of this. And uh, basically any money I make off of it will just go right back into the uh, shop to get more material to keep videos coming. Um, I've got a few things I'm getting ready to work on. Uh, I'll show you what I'm talking about here. Can't show you too much of this because my battery is getting ready to die. Uh, this is a track that's right over top of my lathe. And goes. So what I want to do is take this pipe right here, and I want to mount that to one of these. I'm going to take these things off, which I've already done, and I want to mount that right there, so that it will slide back and forth on it, and then this here can slide up and down the pipe and what I did I took an old uh, lug out of a uh, breaker box and the hole in that happened to be the right size as you can see and it had a quarter 20 thread on the end of it from the bolt that held it to the breaker box so this was quarter 20, so that worked out pretty good. So now all I have to do is loosen that, slide it up and down, tighten it wherever I want. I can turn it. And now I'm going to take and uh, 
make a way to mount it to the uh, roof, which uh, this is part of it, and this is the other part of it. So I got to mount something to that. But this will be another video. And then that will go in there with a set screw, something like that. Or I'll just make me a piece for it. That way nobody can say I don't use my lathe. <laughs> anyway, you guys have a good one. I'm Bob. I'm out. Later.